Hi, here a tutorial on Python effectors for MoGraph. But first of all, a big thank you to uh, Dawa. Uh, Dawa told me how to uh, start using Python uh, effectors. And he also made some great tutorials on the internet. Go to video.com Dawa for the videos. And this one is a real good introduction to a Python effector. Please play it. You can see it's it has lots of things in it and you can also download the source so you have more uh, you have a good thing to play with that's what I've done, been doing so I downloaded this one and uh, started to create my own Python effector I'm going to show you two effectors first of all uh, a clock with um, a move well let me show you that's easier so you see every um, so much frames, all the clones are rotated to the left and the clone on the top, number zero, number one, is moved into the Y position. Okay, so first of all, uh, we're going to create, you have to create a Python uh, a cloner. And as you can see, I copied uh, all the elements from uh, Dawa's tutorial. I'm a bit lazy. Um, then you have to create a Python. Let me show you. You can find it here on the effectors. And this is the Python effector. When you load it, you can choose whether you want to have full control or parameter control. Parameter control. Uh, parameter control gives you also this one. And you can control these parameters. If you go to full control, the whole control of the uh, uh, MoGraph effector is done by Python. And this is just a random color to uh, see all the different clones and a delay to make it more interesting. Okay, let's go to the Python. So each time um, for each frame or whatever things change uh, the python x uh, the python effector is called is run this is the main part um, so every 15 frames this one is executed it bit, it's a bit uh, tricky of course yeah, there's a big trick in it it goes from the count so here we have 12 clones and it goes from 12 to 0 or 11 to 0 in reverse order. So the last one is always 0. So what we do initially, um, we set the matrix move to 0, this one. It's, um, it's a bit hard to explain, but if you look at the code, it's, uh, to me it's very clear. So what we do initially... We take, we set the first clone to zero. So we reset this value. And then the next time we do the same, we rotate and we put this one or uh, the new, let's say the new zero um, clone to its new position. And then we shift the array. And that's done with a straightforward Python. This is the Python way to yeah, uh, rotate whatever you want. So what we need to do is we have to get we have to get the MoGraph data. And the operand is of course the cloner. But the effector is in the MoGraph effector tab. So this one. So that's why you can use operand to get the MoGraph data. Then we get the number of clones and we get the array for the motor matrix data. There are various uh, arrays for all the MoGraph data, but we'll stick to uh, the matrix data, the matrix information, which consists of the positions 
and I think also the rotation, but I'm not too sure. Okay, um, this is also a big trick. Um, please have a look at the video from Dao. He explains it in more detail. Another thing is that we also need to initially we need to set of reset this position and rotate and then set it. So I set um, the global loop is reset this position to zero, rotate and set the position again to zero or to uh, the I position. So reset, rotate and set. Um, the setting I do by uh, the matrix move and I move yeah uh, I'll create a matrix move with the A position plus 100 and here I'll change the matrix of the Pacific clone in this case the zero clone because we go down from 11 to 0 I'll multiply it with the matrix move and the result is that the clone is positioned over this value. Then we're going to shift it again. We shift it. And then we set the data back into the MoGraph information. So, show you once again. You can also uh, see the effect of the delay very nice. For if I can't play, switch it off, then it's bloop bloop. So, this is the way. Okay, also uh, another very straightforward thing is the proximity or uh, change the position of clones depending on the distance to a target. So if I animate the target and thus change uh, the distance from this target to any clone, Based on that distance, a calculation is done to reposition the clone. So let's see. So this the same clone, all the same setup, but a different effector. Also delay to make it more interesting, the random color and the same cloner. Only the Python effector is different. And if, uh, I animated this target from here over there. I also uh, created a user data, just a minimal distance, in which uh, the proximity or the Python X factor will take uh, control. And here is the Python code, as you see, even simpler than the other one. We get the MoGraph data again. We get um, the, the, the target position, number of counts, and do for all the counts. In fact, we don't even need this one because we're not using the frame. Um, again, in reverse order, calculate the distance from this clone to the target object. And what we do, we get the length of a factor, and the factor is defined by uh, the target object position minus the clone offset, so the position of the clone. And that's done by uh, the target given as an object, and the second uh, parameter is the offset or the position of the clone. The distance is returned. If the distance is bigger than the given user data, in this case 300, we add uh, of we calculate uh, another value. In this case, an added distance is distance divided by two. Just to give you an example of what you can do, and then again uh, we calculate the matrix move. As you see, it's only for the y value. We change or we multiply it with uh, the current matrix clone of the matrix of the clone. And after all these, when all clones are done, we write it back to the MoGraph array. 
that's all. Again, uh, Dawa, thanks for all the information. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.